Good afternoon and welcome to the National Basketball Arena. We're about to get underway here in the second of the Subway Schools All-Island Finals. This is the under-16A boys final between Cala Sanchez College, Owen Moore and St. Joseph's the Bish. So an all-Galway final here today. I'm joined for this game by Carlo head coach and under-20 women's head coach Martin Conroy. Martin, obviously just come off the first game there. Close game, but a good win for presentation. What kind of game are we looking for here in the under 16 boys? Uh, to be honest, I don't know much about either team, but I'm sure you know, been a local derby, go with derby, it's going to be a cracker of a game. Some uh, really high level individuals, both sides. Uh, both teams probably look to run the ball up and down. Once they get you know, their, their confidence going in the first couple of minutes, it should be a good game. Two schools with huge experience at this stage of the school's cup. So just run through the starters for you for Cala Sanchez College. He's number one, Evan O'Rourke. Number two, Miles Lochran. Number 13, O'Sheen Holland. Number 14, Ben Burke. And number 10, Ronnie Aduque. For St. Joe's, the Bish, it's number six, Ben Powell. Number seven, Joe Coughlin. Number eight, the captain, Brian Gaffney. Number 14, Angus McDonnell. And number 15, Tony Azunu. As the first shot goes up, we'll have a foul called there. Foul's going to go, I think, against McDonald. Martin, these affairs normally cagey starts from the two uh, two teams. I was speaking to Coach um, Clark for the Bish. He said the boys are a little bit nervous. What kind of start will both coaches be looking for and how will they be looking to get into the game? Well, I see straight away that um, the Bish have come up with a 3-2 zone, so that they want to probably try and force them to, to shoot a little bit and you know try and block up the key a little bit they did a good job there but it cost them a foul on Ezo uh, it'll take them a while to get into the game match you know a bit of nerves you know yourself if you can get a couple of early scores like this couple of leak outs couple of easy scores it's going to make it a lot easier for them to get going but the, the both seem to want to run the ball straight away anyway which is a good thing make for a good game for the neutrals even there we see the nerves in the fast break the free throws missed by Lachlan but the Biss can't punish and it'll be Calix Sanchez so they go Inside to the big man, Aduka. He's fouled, so early on we see the Bish struggling inside, being able to stop Cala Sanchez. Yeah, it's a good job though, Matt, getting the ball inside against that, you know, that 3 2, and if you can do that, they can punish it. So Aduke misses the free throw, known as Ronnie by the lads. Obviously, uh, one of their big scores 18 points in the semi final, 26 points in the quarter final. They'll be looking for a lot from him and as he banks that first name Martin a big force inside for them yeah it looks like a athletic kind of a kid he's gonna be good from the line as well be one from two he's sure he'll get better as the game goes on the nerves will start going one one three one coming in from Calisanctus here Matt so There's into the man. corner Gaffney looks to find a bit of space on the foul line kicks it out to Azuno who'll take the three doesn't go well rebounded by Paolo so the Bish have another opportunity as they look to attack. Shot goes up from Powell. Kalasanta struggling the offensive rebounds here. And Gaffney gets the first bucket of the game. And Bish on the scoreboard. Nice finish from Brian Gaffney there. See the full court press coming up from the Bish in a three point shot in the corner. Gonna jump ball there as the ball's stuck in the basket. To give me a bit of time to get up to speed. Multitask back. With the, uh, <laughs> with the scoreboard here. We'll try and keep you up to date here. 6.34 to go, first quarter. Coughlin with the ball for the Bish. Izono. Gaffney, he started well, but can't get the shot off. Straight into the hands of Aduke, but... Referees have... Giving it to Cali Sanchez, I believe. And that's the second foul there as well, Matt, on uh, uh, is, is Uno. Is Uno. Is Uno, so again, he's a, a big scorer for the Bish, so they'll need him as again we look to leak Coughlin under the hoop. Good defense from Cali Sanchez. Now they'll slow things down a little bit as they get it into the Hands the point guard O'Rourke. Oh, 
inside. Nice move from Oduke. Didn't get the finish this time as he was double teamed. You see the Bisher looking to run the ball at every opportunity. They're, they're, they're leaking out a lot on the, on the rebound. Deep three from Gaffney. High arc in rebound and falls fortuitously into the hands of McDonald. And 4 1 the Bish. Nice press break, getting the ball to the middle of the floor. Going to attack the basket now. Look to draw the foul. Good basket there from number 13 there, Matt, from Oshin Holland, is it? So Oshin Holland gets his first bucket of the day. Back to a one point game. Coughlin slowing things down at the top of the key for the Bish. Five minutes to go in his first quarter. Gaffney, nice pass inside. Finished off by McDonald. Back to back baskets for McDonald. Yeah, Gaffney did a good job of getting the, the big man there. But you can't wait away from the basket, and then it's an easy lay in. A walk into the key. A walk swings to Lochran inside to Aduku, who's very much been the centre of their offence so far. Three seconds on the shot clock, two seconds, they're not going to get it off in time. That's a good defensive stand. That just contained it very well, Matt. Didn't, didn't reach in, didn't do anything silly. Good job from the Bish. So Coughlin to Gaffney. Gaffney. Good defence again from Carlos Sanchez College. Deep three from Coughlin. And he Ooh. hits nothing but net from Coughlin. That's Steph Curry range right there. Four or five feet outside the three-point line. Looking to answer in the corner. Ocean Holland can't get it. Coughlin will get the ball. Look to start the break. And well kept in. Good hustle, good hustle this time from Gaffney. So it'll be the Bish ball. Very smart there just to put the ball off the defender and get the ball back for his team. Corner shot from the Bish doesn't go. So 9-3. to three. The Bish with a six-point lead. A walk into the corner to Holland. Holland open to Burke who will take a three and Burke knocks down the first three-point shot for... Carlos Sanchez. I think we did a lot of, we talked about it before the game, we had a lot of three-pointers in this game last year, but they all came from one person, I think was the problem. If it goes like this, it should be a good game. Three-point shot missed this time from Powell. Six to nine. Three minutes, 19 seconds to go. First quarter. Holland in the corner. Been well guarded by Powell. Just hit one. Burke. Tries to get into the key, this side, inside to Oduke. Good defence, but Oduke, great footwork inside. And he's been impressive so far, Martin, even though he's first score of the game for him. Yeah, like he got double team right under the basket there. You know, took his time, just waited and got his shot away and, and made a nice score. Bring his team back with him one shot. And everything seems to be going through him for his team. They, they know he's their scorer. Coughlin with a tough pull-up jump shot. Azuno's shot is blocked by Oduke. And it'll be Carlos Sanchez with a chance to take their first lead since they led at 1-0 open shot from Burke bounces out rebound to Zune Zunu sorry stay on the floor ah good D good hustle from O'Rourke but it'll be a jump ball whistle just went as he grasped it out of the hands yeah. and we're going to take our first time out here so with 2.17 to go the score is 8 to 9 
to welcome back here to the Subway Schools under 16A boys finals. Cali Sanchez College Owen Moore trailing the Bish 8 to 9. Azuno inside the key. Coughlin to Gaffney. Gaffney takes a shot. He's fouled, so he'll go to the line. And Martin, first time out of the game there. Close game, two minutes to go. Will both coaches be kind of happy here at the moment? Yeah, look, as we said, like first quarter, you're kind of getting to know what's what's going on and, and getting yourself into the game. Gaffney did a nice job there, just drawing that foul, going to the line. Um, see both of them kind of in a zone, forcing the other team to shoot. So, you know, if you can keep um, the... the Ogangwe out from inside the, the guy who just rebounded the ball that, that'll be a help to them uh, Burke is going to be obviously a big thing for them as well from outside Holland in the corner for Cala Sanchez trailing by one just under two minutes to go three point shot goes up for Burke is good that's his second three of the game Coughlin he's a deep three himself already this time he is open, chooses not to shoot, gets into the key, takes a runner, nearly banks that one and doesn't get the soft roll and rebounded by Azuno. Again, stolen away by Duku. He has Ooh. Coughlin. So it's stolen away by Azuno, sorry. Did the right thing going the opposite side of the basket again, good defense. Forcing a tough shot. They're not attacking his own enough, Matt, you know, to, to try and free up the shooters. Maybe get it inside a bit more to this guy. Here is a Duco again. Nice footwork. And he's fouled, and that's going to count. So after a slow start by Ronnie Aduke, made his last couple of baskets. And Martin, Carlos Sanchez started off quite slowly. They were down 9-3, to three, but now they've got the last 10 points. What, what's really been the big change in the game here? So a couple of good threes from, from Burke outside on the same side here. Just kind of opened up the defense a little bit and then getting it inside to Aduku and like if he's going to be, he's a big presence and he's a good finisher, you know, and, and he takes his time around the basket to finish, which is good. But their defense is, is working as well. They're, they're forcing tough shots from, from St. Joe's. We talked about the nerves earlier. Aduke shot two free throws in the first minute. Both of all Hit the backboard first. That one was nothing but net. As Coughlin tries to repeat his long range three, doesn't go well rebounded by McDonald. We'll give the Bish another chance. But good hands. And we've got a travel call off the steal. The Bish crowd making themselves heard here. It's only a small crowd in for this one, but they'll be loud enough. 28 seconds to go in first quarter. Carlos Sanchez College leading the Bish 14 to 9. And we get a turnover here, and it's a walk to Burke. Burke doesn't get it, and it's going to come off the hands of Ben Powell, so it will stay Carlos Sanchez's ball. So 21 seconds to go. It's 18 on the shot clock. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if they go back inside to Duque here now. Just checking, I think checking the shot clock below. So it's gone to 14. He's wide open inside, just didn't see him. A walk. 10 seconds on the shot clock. This time they do try and go into Aduku. Great catch from Aduku. Spins. Wow. Again, <laughs> nice move from Ronnie Aduke. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of room there for him to get that. You know, he's got, as you said earlier, his footwork is exceptional and he, he's. He, even when he gets to that last second, he's finishing very well. Gaffney with the tree on the buzzer. Doesn't go from Gaffney to the end of a good first quarter. Carlos Sanchez 16, the Bish 19.
So welcome back to the National Basketball Arena. About to get underway in the second quarter of the Subway Schools and the 16A boys final. Cala Sanchez after a slow start leading 16 to 9. Martin, obviously Bish, we talked last about Bish being pleased with their start, but haven't scored in a while here. What kind of things would uh, the coaching duo of Audrey Clark and Ross Cowboy be talking about there during that little break between quarters? I'd say they want to get them doing this, going to the basket, but they probably want them going a little bit stronger than that. What a block. And he let them know afterwards as well. Like, I mean, it, their last few shots have been kind of mid-range or else trees. You know, they want to get inside a little bit more and maybe to use their two big men. Maybe get a couple of easy scores just to get themselves back in the game. So it'll be the Bish ball. 11 seconds on the shot clock. Got away with the foul. He didn't yeah, get away with the foul. He yeah, did he call it there. Nice move by Tony Azuno. He's pulled back, so it'll be Bish ball again. 14 seconds on the shot clock now as we set. In it comes to Coughlin. Coughlin to Azonu. Find space inside with a float down. Nice move and good finish by Angus McDonald. That's better, like just engage the defender, get the pass away. Nice little floater from the, the short corner just inside. A walk inside to Aduku, even with three guys around him. Nice pass. But McDonald backs up his basket with a block. Did a great job to help on the big man inside and then was able to drop off that to get the block. Good defense from McDonald. Holland, corner three. That was going to be short. Might have been tipped there for McDonald. Bish off to the races. Nice move from Coughlin. And Coughlin slows things down and gets a quick two. Good finish. Nice composed finish. Again, the last two scores. I know the one is a fast break, the one before that, you know, attacking the basket. Good job from the Bish. So out of bounds, Oshin Holland will put the ball in for Cala Sanchez, leading by three. Seven minutes to go, just over in this second quarter. Lochran. Back to the sharp shooting, Burke. Burke this time gets into the key. Nice great. pass. To Duque and Aduke finishes with two. Yeah, again, great pass from Burke. Big strong finish from Aduke inside. Showed his strength there as well. A foul's been called outside on Evan O'Rourke. So it'll be sideline ball to Bish. Cochran. Guarded by O'Rourke at the top of the key. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cochran with a nice spin into the lane, but good hands by Burke. And Burke's off to the races. He's going to get there first. And good finish from Ben Burke after good defence. Yeah, good steal. Got the ball out in front of his body and got down the floor first and it was an easy layup for him now. The good patch for the Bish has been matched by a good patch for Cala Sanchez. And they remain seven ahead here, 20 to 13, 6, 15 left in this second quarter. Three-point shot from Gaffney. That one bounces out, and it's into the hands of Burke. Calasanct is happy enough just to slow the game down and play at their pace, which is what they're doing very well at the moment. Good defense from Powell, and it's going to end nearly in a turnover. Hands in the ends of a, a Duque. Shot clock's on three. You're going to have to get this up, and Lockham will get a three up in time. Doesn't go. Well rebounded by Tony Azuno, and he's looking to go all the way. Nice step from Azuno, but the hand by Oduku, who rushes back, just puts him off at the basket. He's so athletic, man. Like, he runs the floor really well, both ends. He's not lazy. He's doing a great job for his team of protecting the rim as well. Holland for two down the other end. Great job of breaking the press from Carlos Sanchez and they've extended the lead, nine point lead here for Carlos Sanchez, 5-10 to go. Again, they've got to go back inside now to the big man, see if they can get a couple of easy scores just to settle him down again. There you go, good drive. Doesn't go, McDonald gets a rebound. Again, good hands from Burke and after making a couple of threes early on, we've been called an unsportsmanlike foul. On the break, so it'll be two shots. And Martin, after making a two early threes, Ben Burke is coming into the game more and more for Calix Sanchez. 
We have a timeout here, so we'll discuss that after the timeout. It's 22 to 13. Welcome back here, 4.54 to go in the second quarter of the Subway Schools Under-16 Boys Final. Palos Sanchez College leading 22-13. Ben Burke on the line here. We discussed before the break the influence he's had over the last five, ten minutes of the game. Yeah, look, he had a couple of trees that kind of got him settled down nice and early. You know, he's made a couple of nice passes inside to Duque. He got, obviously got the steal there. He's out in the fast break and you know, he gets to the line for that. But he's, he looks like a smart kid, and he, he's making good decisions so far. Works hard on his defense. I wonder, is he any relation to James Burke up there in, in Galway under him? Couldn't tell you, but I'm sure someone will tell us. You can get in touch with us on Twitter, at bballerIOL, hashtag Subway Schools Cup. If you're watching in school, send us a picture of your teacher napping in the classroom. <laughs> a dooku. Use his strength. This time he's met by Azono. And this time Azono comes out best. And he's on the break here. And he and gets one. two. And a foul by Burke. I, 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 that's a, a great job defensively. But, I, you know, you've got to give the referee some credit there as well. Azono went straight up. Good block. Let him come down the floor. Great finish then. And, and he gets his reward by going to the line now as well. And Mike, that's really the first time we've seen in that matchup, which has really been a big part of the game, Tony Azono coming out on top of a Duque at that particular play. Yeah, and it, maybe it's something he needs to do a lot more, especially offensively he needs to kind of get out of Duque and maybe get a couple of fouls on him and not make him such a, a prominent part of the, the offense for, for Calisanctus. Holland fumbles the ball but gets hold of it again, O'Rourke shot clock down to ten. Burke thinks about a three, puts the ball on the floor here, he's down to four, two, he's going to have to shoot it. And again, Azuno does a great job of denying the ball to Aduke. Nice pass to Gaffney. And Gaffney finishes for two on the break. Good job from Azuno as well. Just couldn't cross Aduke there to make sure. And we got a steal, Matt. Coughlin slows it down. Azuno puts the ball on the floor. Shows nice footwork and a great, great pass. pass. And two for McDonald. Yeah, he's been a spark there now the last kind of minute and a half. His defensive work, he might have got a bit of confidence from that block. And, you know, he's starting to light it up for his team and work, you know, make good passes. So all of a sudden, the Bish right back in it. Four-point lead for Carlos Sanchez. Burke from three. He's already got two of them. That one doesn't go. Rebounded by Gaffney for the Bish. He looks to get into the key. He does. And good finish from Gaffney. They're doing a great job of attacking the key. Now, we kind of said that earlier on in this quarter that they needed to go inside them. You know, make a few easy scores just to get their confidence back. And they've done that definitely now. So an eight-point run for the Bish in the last minute and a half. A walk thinks about a two, doesn't go, goes to the hoop. Well defended again by a combination of Azunu and Gaffney. Gaffney, we know where to go this time, throws up over his head. That would have been 
a bit of luck, a knock on him, but Coughlin gets another chance, shot clock down to 12. Zona is doing a good job of spreading the ball here. Coughlin, deep three. That one's off, we can see from the angle. Had to get it up to beat the shot clock, but O'Rourke comes back for Carlos Sanchez. We need a basket here, but again, Azuna has been a huge influence in this last 90 seconds. Coughlin with a chance trailing. to get to the hoop. And you said it there, Martin. He's been massively influenced, but just stopped halfway down the halfway down the court there. Yeah, he, he like he, he got to keep trailing on that. He did a great job of getting the steal and getting the ball out, but he stopped running and he, no chance of getting the second second opportunity and on the miss. And it's all the bish defensively here. They have a chance to tie it or take the lead, and Gaffney will try and tie it with a two. Doesn't go. Rebounded by McDonald, and McDonald has tied it at 23 apiece. Timeout coming. And we'll get a timeout here for coach Richard Burke and we'll be back with you shortly. So welcome back, 2.02 to play in the first half of this Subway Schools and the 16A final. We're tied at 23, so a 10-point run for the Bish. And Martin, great, great run there for the Bish. Timeout call for Carlos Sanchez. Obviously, they had a great patch early. What are they going to try and go back to here just to steady the ship a little bit? Look, they, they've tried to go into... An, oh, that can we, I can't get his name out, I'm sorry. What is it again? I'm, I'm told it's pronounced Ronnie Adu. A, a Duque. A Duque. Okay, they tried to go into a Duque a couple of times, but the passes they're giving them, you know, they're, they're able to get deflections on it from, from St. Joe's. And they need to go into him. If they can get inside to him, yeah, good travel violation called on him there. But if they can get the ball inside to him again in the right spots and, and you know, let him go against the, the big guys from the Bish. And I, he, he'll, he'll come good again, guaranteed he will. Good score. Gaffney gets a two and everything's dropping for the Bish right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see Burke, you know, make his presence felt in the next couple of, you know, minute and a half or so either. And here is that man, Burke. Drives baseline with a floater, it doesn't go. Aduke keeps it alive and it hands up in the hands of Holland. But Holland can't finish again, Aduke gets it. And we're going to get a jump ball. We are going to Carlos Sanchez, so 106 to go. The Bish now lead by two, having trailed by as many as 10. Carlos Sanchez are, you know, forcing it a little bit now compared to what they were doing at the start and how smooth it was at the start of the game. A walk to Lockwin. Lockwin is open but doesn't shoot. Seven on the shot clock. This time Lockwin will have to shoot it. He gets in the lane, doesn't shoot again, but nice pass to. O'Rourke doesn't go, and it's going to be a fight for the ball, of which it's won by Powell. Coughlin, nice spin move, and a great vision to find Gaffney, who again puts it on the floor, get into the key. Plenty of time with the shot clock here. Again, Coughlin shows off his silky dribbling skills. They're doing a good job of really getting into the key and, and you know, and then kicking it out. The look will come sooner or later. Offensive foul calling the hook, I think, there, Matt. Exactly that, so it'll be Carlos Sanchez's ball, there's 26 seconds to go. With a chance to tie or take the lead, only two seconds difference between that and the game, uh, and the shot clock. It'll be interesting to see how early they go in the shot clock, if they're going to be patient. Duque. Great job. Unstoppable in the middle there. And that's what they need to do, feed him inside, let him go to the basket. 
And then you've got to start playing some defense this end, though. So despite the scoreboard, our show we are tied at 25. So clock is going to tick down. Aduko's not going to get the shot off in time. So at the end of that first half of the Subway Schools under 16A final, it's Cala Sanchez 25, the Bish 25. And join us again for the second half.
Welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena. Two teams just heading out on the court for the second half of the Subway Schools under 16A boys final. It's Cala Sanchez College 25, the Bish 25. A game of runs in the first half. We've had a slight change up here. Martin Conroy is at the head back to Carlo, so I'm joined by Temple Oaks Irish International, Jason Killeen. Jay, game of massive runs in the first half. Bish with an early start. Then Carlo Sanchez taking a big lead and the Bish taking them back. Second half, anyone's game? Yeah, that's it. I think the first half, Matt, has been a real spectator game. It's been an enjoyable game to watch, and I'm sure all the fans there in the arena are enjoying it. And Gafferty was one of the big reasons they got back in the game there. He's eight points in the first half, but can't finish on that occasion. And again, one of the other big scores with a ball in his hands, Ben Burke with eight points, and uh, nine points rather. Long three from Burke. He made a couple of those first half, but McDonald on the boards has been huge for the Bish on the comeback and Colin just hesitated for the pass and gets called for a travel. So it'll be in the front court, so 14 seconds on the shot clock. Burke with the ball. And Aduke is top scorer in the game with 13. And again, that footwork inside has been extremely impressive for the first half, Jay, and something as a big man you'd appreciate. Yeah, especially uh, a young player like that, Matt. You know, sometimes the footwork can take some time. And he certainly seems to be ahead of the curve at the minute. Foul's going to be called against Powell for the Bish. I see the jumper come off from Coach Richard Burke below. It's the sweaty time now. Nervous time, second half of the game. Two Galway teams battling off for not only the All-Ireland Cup, but also the best team in the city. And the bragging rights last all year, Matt. Exactly. Two-point shot from Holland. And Holland knocks down the first bucket of the second half. And Carlos Sanchez will take the lead. Of course, Carlos Sanchez knocked off the reigning champion, St. Malachy's, in their semi-final. Very low-scoring game, 48-37. As the Bish managed to beat Mount Hawk, a good strength is inside from Aduko. So, Jay, would you say... Carlos Sanchez start, started slightly better both on the scoreboard and in terms of their play in the second half. Yeah, exactly. They seem to be capitalising on some mistakes from the Bish, getting the ball down the floor quickly for easy scores. Three-point shot from, Ga uh, from Gaffney, yeah, rather. Miss and a good block from Coughlin as he gets there just in time from Diego. And again, checking in for the first time into the game is Dean Coughlin. So, seen a few subs coming in from the Bish as they just look to rotate a little bit in the second half. Aduku. This time he's called for a travel. Just slid his pivot foot. And Matt, we talk about getting some subs in the game now. You know, it's so tight that you, you get the feeling it's going to come down to the last couple of minutes of the fourth quarter, so... It's best to try to get your subs in as early as possible. That's it. I'm sure it was something that the Bish wanted to do in the first half, but they trailed 10, so probably held on a little bit longer. But they've done it early in this half. And there is one of the guys, Dean Coughlin, but turned over eventually. And here comes O'Rourke. He's Tony Azunu under the hoop. O'Rourke reverses it. Burke, well guarded by Coughlin. And... Burke stands on the baseline there, so it'll be Bish ball. And the referee had the best view of that in the arena. So four-point lead for Carlos Sanchez with just under five minutes to go in this third quarter. Inside to Azunu. Put the ball on the floor against Aduku. Nowhere to go. Great defense. Kicks it back out to Cochran. Second on the shot clock. Coughlin gets it up and he's fouled it up. 
tough foul there for Ben Burke. Won't be pleased with that one. Just reached in on the shots. That's an easy three-point shot. Uh, easy three free throws coming up. For Joe Cochran. And that's tough on defense, Matt, as you know, being a guard. When the shot goes up, the temptation to swing down or put your body into the shooter. Yeah, I'm sure if Burke can have that one back, he'd have stayed well clear. And he's been well punished here from Coughlin. Makes his first two. Two-point game, 27-29. And Coughlin smoothly knocks down all three. And we're back to a one-point game. Here is Burke, the walk, looking to try and get it into Oduku, but he's been well guarded, two people on him inside. Nice backdoor cut from O'Rourke, gets into the lane, takes a fadeaway shot, and great finish this time from Evan O'Rourke. And Matt the Bisher uh, concentrating a lot on Oduku in the middle there, and it really opens up the, the lane for the guards to be able to drive in. A big three-point shot from Gaffney, he had a slow start to this game but he's been the main scorer for the Bish. Gets in the double figures with 11 points there. Top scorer in their semi-final and their quarter-final. So only to be expected for the Bish. And this time will be a chance for Coughlin to get to the hoop. Nice wrap around for Coughlin. And the Bish retake the lead as they lead 33-31. Holland calling for the ball on the wing. This time they try to get inside to Otuku. Leaps up to the sky to grab that one. And that was some leap in order to get that ball. And he'll go to the line for two shots. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that from Aduku in the first half. If they throw the ball anywhere to him, he's able to go get it. Yeah, you know, it's a tough matchup, Matt, when you pair that athleticism with the footwork, then once he gets the ball as well, it's, it's tough for any defender to guard. Can't finish from the foul line. And Azono starts the break to Coughlin. Azono, again, back to Dean Coughlin. Coughlin gets the ball into the middle of the key. Nice drive from Coughlin, but good hands from Holland. And Holland cleans it up. And O'Rourke has the chance to get out on the break. A walk to the hoop, kicks it out to Burke. Burke, nice pass. Inside to Dioko. Dioko can't finish and rebounded by Ozono, who again leads the, leads the break with a great pass. And Cochlear hits the cut in McDonald and great finish from McDonald. And the Bish extend their lead to four. A good run there by the big man Matt, and it was great patience from the Bish to wait and find him on that cut. Inside to Oduku, doesn't mind the double team, and he goes inside and finishes with another good two points inside. Bish straight back at it. Dean Cochran, he's going to go to the line for two shots. He's fouled by Burke. And Matt, you get the feeling whichever team here can stop the fast break in the last two and a half minutes will definitely have the advantage. The foul actually went against Holland, so that'll be his second. Yeah, and the Bish, both teams, as they did from the start, getting the ball up and down. And Dean Coughlin knocks down his first bucket of the day. Extend the lead back up to three points. 33-36, three-point shot, chance to tie it from Burke, doesn't go. Rebounded by Azuno, and again after a slightly nervous start, has really come into his own here in the second and third quarter. Coughlin looks for a bit of space, kicks it out to Dean. Uh, sorry, it was Gaffney to Joe Coughlin. Well rebounded by Dioko. Sorry, it's not Dioko, it was actually McInespy. Get the teams mixed up there. And sub just in a little bit too quick. 
but it is going to be Key and Cowell for the Bish as they continue to get new people into the game. O'Rourke, <laughs> again, sees him throw it into a Duco and he had no right to get the ball. He was already being double teamed and still just threw it up and he went and got it. Burke, 10 seconds on the shot clock, O'Rourke, back to Burke, Holland will shoot a three, that one's short, Azunu gets the rebound again, starts the break, Coughlin to Dean Coughlin, Coughlin for two, doesn't go, rebounded by Burke, this time it'll be Kallis Hanks with a chance to run it, and Burke goes all the way, can't finish but a foul's gone against Tony Azuno. As you mentioned, Jay, very up and down game. Both teams trying to get the fast break started at every opportunity. And that's it. And I think the Bish should be happy now. You know, it's, it's nervous sometimes, Matt, when the game is this close. You know, you want to leave the starters in for as long as possible. But the Bish should be getting subs in and out. And I think that'll prove, it'll prove worry from in the fourth quarter. Big thing for the Bish is Angus McDonald just picked up his fourth foul. He's been exceptional on the boards for them, so that isn't good. But as you mentioned, subs have done well when they've come in here. Two-point lead for the Bish with just over a minute to go in this third quarter. Still stolen away by Burke. O'Rourke slows it up. Holland. A walk, 14 on the shot clock to Burke. Bish doing a good job of keeping the ball on the outside. Slow on the outside here, this time it's into a Duku. Good defense from Azunu. Leaves it to a hook but can't finish. And it'll be 40 seconds to go in this third quarter. Ah, oh, great footwork and a great finish from Azunu. Thirty-eight, thirty-four, twenty-five 25 seconds to go in this third quarter of the Subway Schools under 16A final. Three-point shot from O'Rourke. That one goes in and out, but rebounded by Oduku. They'll have another chance. Just a few seconds difference in the shot clock and the game clock. The game clock's 8.8, .8, the shot clock's at 8. But with two shots. The Bish in penalty, so with 8.8 .8 seconds to go in this third quarter, it'll be Evan O'Rourke will go to the foul line. Leaves that one a little short. But makes no mistake with the second, so there's eight seconds to go. Third quarter. The Bish in the hands of Azuno, he's looking to go strong to the basket. Great block. Maduko, but well rebounded by the new man coming in the game, Kean Cowell, and he's fouled. And he'll go to the line with two shots. And again, Jay, you talk about the subs coming in. Huge play there for Kean Key Cowell. If he can knock down these shots, it'll be well worth it. It's 1.8 seconds left on the clock in this third quarter. Cowell. Looking to extend the lead, the Bish leading by three. Doesn't go, and luckily gets away with a bump there. So there we have it, the end of the third quarter. It's the Bish 38, Calis Sanchez 35.
So welcome back. We're at the business end of this one. It's the Subway Schools Under 16A final. The two Galway teams fight it out. Carlos Sanchez trail the Bish by three. It'll be Carlos Sanchez with the ball in their hands. Inside to Aduku. Again, double team, but Powell's going to go against, I think, Kian Cowell. It is Kian Cowell. So, Jay, hard end between the two teams. It's been up and down the whole way. What's going to be the difference that gets one of these teams over the line in this final quarter? I think it's who times their run the best, Matt. It's been a game of runs throughout the game. Back and forth, and it's a very quick, fast-paced game. So, whoever can time that run and push out a lead at the right time. Azuke knocks down the first off the backboard. He's been, what would I say, inconsistent from the foul line today. He's banked two that he's made. He's swished two, and he's missed a couple more. Just showing you his range, man. He's been exceptional in the post, though. And again, you see that great block. As Azunu just thought he had a bit of space. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Coughlin just calls for the high screen. He's going to have to get it up, four seconds to go. We've already seen he's that range. Oh, nice pass inside. He's tried to thread the needle, but Cowell couldn't quite hold on to it. So it'll be shot clock violation. Burke to O'Rourke. O'Rourke gets into the paint. Finds Burke on a three-point line. Oh, that one looked good from our angle. But he chased on rebound and gets it back. Aduku might have gone over the walk. He didn't. Referee Katrina White made the correct call there. Definitely got away with her or did walk. So seven minutes to go. Two-point game. Nice drive baseline from Gaffney and a nice finish off the glass. Four-point lead for the Bish. Carlos Sanchez swing it around. And Azuno does a great job of getting back there. Nice pass on the break and it just slips, goes out of bounds, but it's come off a Dooku. And just for a second, Oshin Holland thought he was in under the basket for Carlos Sanchez. And Matt, that's the kind of effort you like to see from your big man. He had a block on one end and then ran the length of the floor to attempt to lay up on the other. Yeah, he's been very impressive here, I have to say. Talked about his slow start, but since then, I see another good pass here. Coughlin will have to shoot this one again. Two seconds, step back three. Again, that one looked close, but rebounded by Dean Coughlin, so they'll get another chance. Gaffney to the basket. And Gaffney's going to be called for a travel. So it'll be Carlos Sanchez ball, four point lead for the Bish. Burke inside to Aduku and this just reach over the top there Nazunu. So he'll pick up a foul. It's only going to be a second though, so no real issues. A walk, short corner jump shot, doesn't go. Rebounded by Aduku. Puts the ball on the floor. Kicks it out to Burke. Burke with a runner down the lane. Doesn't go and Two lads will fight it out, but it will be the Bish ball. And sub come in, so... Angus McDonald's going to come back in, Jay. He's been extremely good for the Bish, but he's on four fouls. 5.46 to go in the game. How difficult will it be to, for him to play on four fouls? He's going to have to be very careful here now, because a lot of his game has been physical inside. You know, he's been great on the, on the defensive boards and the offensive boards and challenging shots. So he's just have to, he's going to have to be under control. And a two-point shot is made from Gaffney. He but continues his scoring spree. I think at this point, Matt, though, you have to risk him in the game with four fouls. Especially trail by... Did trail by six, rather. But a three-point shot from Ben Burke. Gets it back to a three-point game, 42-39. Here is Gaffney, gets the high screen from McDonald. Into the key, pull-up shot from Gaffney. And that's good from Gaffney. 
It's not hard to see how he's been in the top score in the last couple of games. Well in double figures now for Gaffney. A walk, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Looking to get away the basket. Doesn't quite finish. Rebounded by Ozuno. He again looks to push the pace. Finds Coughlin, but Coughlin passes just a little bit off that time by Ozuno and just calls the travel by Coughlin. We'll take a timeout here with 4.34 to go. So welcome back, 4.34 to go in the final quarter of this under-16 Subway Schools All-Ireland Final. It's been an up and down game, the Bish are leading the Galway City rivals, Cala Sanchez College, by five points, 44-39. O'Rourke, Burke, top of the key, eight seconds on the shot clock. Lockwood takes the three, that one's off, but straight into the hands of Burke. And Joe Coughlin is called for the foul, so it'll be two shots. So, Ben Burke will go to the line for two shots. Trailing by five. Can't connect on either of those, but Holland comes up with a rebound and a walk right down the middle of the lane out to Holland for a three point shot. This will be a big one, doesn't go. And rebounded by McDonald, they've got numbers. It's Joe Coughlin up ahead for the Bish, back to, into the hands of Dean. And Gaffney calls for the point guard Coughlin to come get the ball. He'll set things up, 12 seconds to go on the shot clock. Dean Coughlin open for three, thinks about it. And a foul's been called off the ball. It's going to go against O'Sheen Holland. <laughs> the referees just want to get the players to calm down. Important time in the game for both teams. And the game has definitely slowed down over the last couple of minutes as well. Both teams uh, stopping the break and playing in the half court. Azunu gets it out to Coughlin. Gaffney for three from the corner. Doesn't go and rebounded by Burke. Burke, a nice move down the middle of the lane for Burke and he puts in another two and gets Carlos Sanchez back to within three. Coughlin to Gaffney, Gaffney inside to McDonald. Coughlin, he made a deep three early in the game. Five seconds on the shot clock. McDonald's going to have to get it up. Gaffney, he's been a hot hand for them, but he's not going to get it up in time. He doesn't, so his shot clock violation. We just tick under three minutes to go. Three-point lead for the Bish. At this point in the game, Matt, you really have to be aware of the shot clock. Again, the Duke does a great job of grabbing that one from the sky, but turns the ball over. We talked about that, Jay. So composure, obviously, a huge part of the game now in this last three minutes when it's such a close game. 
Like I said, it, it's going to come down to who can execute in the half court, pick up their defensive rebounds. Gaffney, nine seconds on the shot clock. To Coughlin. Azunu gets it up just in time, nearly gets the roll. But it pops out and we're still a one basket game. Three point lead for the Bish. Inside to Aduku. Turn with good hands from Gaffney. Gets his hands on the ball and steals the ball away. So 2.13 to go. Basket's really difficult to come by here. A walk. Gaffney, some great dribbling, but doesn't get it. And Aduku grabs the rebound. And Jay, you talk about the run. Now's the time, is it? Next one wins. Yeah, that's a three point game. You know, if you go up five or, or six here, it's going to be a huge momentum boost. And O'Rourke takes a deep three. And that is huge from Evan O'Rourke as he ties the game at 44 apiece. Gaffney answers straight back, doesn't go rebounded. Azunu kicks out to Coughlin. Gaffney's open on this wing. Inside McDonald has a bit of space. Gets Aduku off the floor, but great hustle again from Evan O'Rourke. Gets his hands on it, and there'll be a jump ball. And we're going to take a timeout here as we're tied 44 apiece with 1.27 to go. So welcome back here to Nail Biter. We're tied at 44 apiece. It'll be the Bish balls from the end line. And Jay, what will the final instructions be there in the timeout from both coaches? I think composure, Matt. And that's exactly what we see from the Bish there as they take the lead. Up two, Holland in the corner. Plenty of time to go, 1.15 to go in the game. Burp, been very impressive second half here for Kyle Sangsa. Duco is inside, calling for the ball. Burp gets down the baseline, finds a bit of space for the floater. Burp gets the roll for two. And we're tied up at 46 apiece, one minute to go. And you know, Matt, we said composure there. Both of these teams are well coached, they're well drilled. And I don't see anybody panicking here in the last minute. The walk tips the ball out of bounds. So it's 14 on the shot clock. Joe Coughlin with the ball in his hands. Top of the three-point line. Inside to McDonald, who's just taking a little bit of a breather there. 12 seconds to go. High screen from Mizuno. Gaffney. Oh, great tip from Aduku. Just got fingertips on it, which made it bounce awkwardly for... O'Donnell, or McDonnell, sorry, and out of bounds, so 36 seconds to go. Bit of full court pressure from the Bish. O'Rourke to Burke. And Burke is fouled there by Azuno. It'll be his third. And we'll go end line, uh, sideline ball, but that's the fourth team foul on the Bish. And Matt was interesting now, four fouls on the Bish and only one on Calix Sanchez, so... They can afford to be very aggressive going to the basket now. So there's 10 seconds on the shot clock, 25 on the game clock. Inside to Burke. 
O'Rourke, four seconds, gonna have to get the shot up. I don't think he's gonna beat in time, they don't. So with 14.5 seconds to go, we're gonna have a timeout here as the Bish just wanna talk it over and set up their final plan. So welcome back, 14.5 seconds to go. Tied game in this under 16 Subway Schools all Island final. Jay, Bish just get a timeout. What kind of shot are they gonna look for here? Well, Matt, they're gonna have to run down the clock. Obviously, they're looking for a good shot, but they don't wanna leave too much time on the clock for, uh, for a response. Getting the ball inbounds will be the first objective. It's a bit of pressure coming from Cali Sanchez. It's in the hands of Joe Coughlin, back to Gaffney, he's been their main man throughout this game. And a foot on the ball, and we're going to get a jump ball, which means I think we're going to Cali Sanchez, we're not, we're going to the Bish. I thought there was a, I thought the last jump, and they've now changed it, yeah, I thought the last jump went to the Bish, so they've changed it, it is Cali Sanchez's ball. The arrow hadn't been changed, so 6.3 seconds to go, and now rolls reverse, this time it will be Richard Berg that calls the timeout. We'll be back shortly. So welcome back. This time it's Cala Sanchez ball. 6.3 seconds to go. And remember the Bish are in team fouls as well, man. So they have to be careful with their hands. Here he comes, Burke with the ball. High scheme from walk. Burke all the way round, he gets the basket, and we've a foul called with 1.3 seconds to go. As the Cara Sanchez lads mob Ben Burke, but still has a lot of work to do. As he takes a few deep breaths, goes back to line for two shots. Bit of a discussion on whether it's a foul or wasn't a foul here, but it's been called, so we're going to have two shots. Obviously the Bish not going to be happy, but that's just how it goes. Carlos Sanchez think they deserve the two shots. And you know, Matt, it was the right plan. Get to the basket. They knew the Bish were in foul trouble. You know, put it on the referee to call a foul in contact. Exactly. Ben Burke getting all around the outside of the hoop. This is the big one. And that one's bounced out. So boxing out becomes a big issue, especially with the Duku. There inside, Azuno will have to keep him off the boards. 
But if Burke can hit this one, he'll put his team up one with just over a second to go. And that one painfully bounces out. And the buzzer goes with both teams going back to their respective benches. Bishop delighted. Carlos Sanchez just trying to get Ben Burke's confidence back up. And we're going to go to overtime. We'll be back with you shortly for the overtime period. So welcome back here to the under-16A Subway Schools All-Island Final. It was tied at the half. It's tied at the end of regulation. We'll go to three minutes of overtime. Burke had a fantastic second half but couldn't finish those free throws. Jay, obviously the Bish probably feeling a slightly better team but with three minutes of overtime to go, anything can happen. Yeah, and you know, Matt, both teams had a crack at it there at the end with a couple of seconds left. We had a turnover from the Bish and then the missed free throws from Burke at the other end. Three-point shot from Gaffney, in and out. Zunu, nice fake, puts the ball on the floor and a foul. And Jake... Fouls, how, how big will fouls be? Calis Sanchez on one team foul, now two team fouls. The Bish on five, and they've just had McDonald foul out as well in that last couple of play, uh, last play of the, of the regulation. Yeah, it just allows Calis Sanchez now to be, uh, to be aggressive and try to get to the ring like they did at the end of the regulation. Gaffney, two seconds, he's got to shoot it. He's not going to get off in time. Didn't know the shot clock was about to go off. And so it'll be Calis Sanchez ball, 2.30 to go in, in overtime. We've seen that a number of times now in the past couple of minutes. Of course, only shot clocks in the A competition, but they should be well used to by now. Good footwork from Aduku gets on rebound, and he's fouled. And he's going to go to the line for two shots, and that's going to be four fouls, I believe, on Azuno. It is. You can't argue, and he's done it three times. Another bank free, uh, free throw for Ronnie Aduko. This time he goes the opposite route. <laughs> he's going to kick the next one. I'm sure he knows the plan, but they're much needed scores at this time of the game, and a two point lead for Calis Sanchez. Just over two minutes to go. Coughlin, nice fake, gets into the lane. Floater from Coughlin, doesn't go, and rebounded by the captain. Holland, a walk. He just about gets his hand into Lockwood. This time, Gaffer, it's Dean Coughlin ends up with the ball after a little bit of a skirmish in the middle of the key. So the best trailing two. Need a basket here. High screen for Gaffney. Gaffney down the middle of the lane. Doesn't go and rebounded by Holland again. For 1.30 to go. Aduku looking for the ball inside. It goes inside him. 
Azuli's on four fouls, but great hand from Dean Coughlin. A good pass from Joe Coughlin, but stolen away by Evan O'Rourke. And the Bish just need a bit of composure here, Jay, in this overtime period. And that's it. You know, Matt, a relatively low-scoring game, and in overtime, every possession is so important. Burke find that space. Good hand all the way from Azunu. Fantastic. Skills Mizunu gets him from one end to the other and we're tied again. Forty-eight apiece here inside Holland, blocked by Joe Coughlin. Azunu again up to Gaffney. Oh great steal by Burke, but doesn't show the composure inside the Gaffney. And anything might happen here. Eventually we call the foul. Well, in a 10 second period, there's an awful lot happened there. St steal, turnover, missed shot, and eventually a foul, and Gaffney with a chance to take the lead for the Bish with just 35 seconds on the clock. And that's easier said than done, man, to be in that position. It is, foul shots have been tough. And that one, in fairness, that was a good shot that somehow bounced out. I'm not quite sure what we've got called here. See, so we've got out of bounds called here, so it'll remain Calisantis ball. 31 seconds on the, sh on the game clock, tied game. A walk, looks for some space, Aduku gets it. Oduku can't finish, grabs his own rebound. And a foul is going to go against Azuno, and that's going to be his fifth. No, they've actually called it on Cowell. So a good break for the Bish. Even though Oduku will go to the line, he made his last two. This one bubbles out. And a nervous time for both schools. You talk about being a low-scoring game. A lot of nerves coming down the end of this. Massively important for both teams. That one rims out. Rebound Holland. Blocked by Azuno. And we have a foul against Holland. But it's not going to be in penalty. It's a fourth, personal foul, uh, fourth team foul for Carlos Sanchez. So the next one will result in two free throws. So the Bish have the ball with 17.7 seconds to go. That's going to be five fouls on O'Sheen Holland. So he's going to go out. And Jay, we saw this. Both teams had a chance to take the last shot of the game. Last time Bish turned it over, they'll be looking for a bit more composure here at this one. Yeah, that's it, I think. Well, we got a timeout here to discuss things. They'll have a chat and talk it over, so we'll be back with you shortly. So, 17.7 seconds to go, Jay. And we talked about it last time. They were in exactly this situation. Now, they've chosen to go in the front court, which means the shot clock is going to be 14. And Matt, that's one of the new rules in FIBA this year. You can advance the ball and get 14 on the clock. 
Are you taking the backcourt and get 24? So 10 seconds on the shot clock. I'm going to have to get a shot up before the end of the game clock. Coughlin inside, tipped by Aduko. And he can't foul as O'Rourke looks to go all the way. He's going to come off his leg. And no shot up. So we talked about the bit of composure. Both teams had possession. Neither one of them got a shot for the game. So unbelievably, we're going for a second overtime. We'll be back to see the start of that. So we're just about to get away in this second period of overtime. We're still tied at 48. So we had a two-point overtime period of three minutes. Nerves got the better of most people. So we'll go for it again. Both teams in penalty this time. So attacking the basket, Kiyazunu on four fouls. So Aduku is surely the way forward, Jay. But that man, Ben Burke, has other ideas. He's been exceptional for Carlos Sanchez throughout. And he knocks down a three, which in the context of the overtime period we just saw is massive. It's huge. And, you know, it'll give him a real confidence boost as well after them free throws. Coughlin can't get the float to the goal, but grabs his own rebound and he's fouled. And he's going to go to the line for two shots. And, Matt, now the foul count is 5-5. Five, five. So both teams in foul trouble. And as you mentioned, Jay, these kind of situations, it's not like taking free throws in the first minute of the game or half time when there's so much on the line, a lot of nerve showing low scoring game. But Coughlin masterfully and coolly knocks down the second and we're back to a two point game. And Matt, I'm sure it's evident on the stream as well, but both sets of fans really being vocal here in the arena. Yeah, we have a fairly big crowd in now because fans are in for the next game as well. So Gaffney gets the ball. A walk to the good job not to foul. Big three for Coughlin. That's online and huge for Doe Coughlin and the Bish take a one-point lead. Burke, chance to answer. That's online too! And Burke comes right back with a three-pointer for Carlos Sanchez and they're in a two-point lead. Hey, man, forget about free throws. We just have a three-point shootout for the end. And we're directly in line with both of those on the angle. So as soon as you let them go, you can see that both are going to be there thereabouts. Gaffney tries to answer for three. In and out, rebounded by Oduku. Two-point lead for Carlos Sanchez. 1.30 to go. Burke, O'Rourke, slows things down, 12 on the shot clock. Aduko's looking for the ball inside. O'Rourke to Burke. For the shot clock, gonna have to get it up. They're not gonna get up in time. Burke hesitates a little bit. And we'll have a shot clock violation. So 1-10 to go. Fish ball, trailing by two.
So Joe Cochran. To Gaffney. High screen from Azunu. Gaffney, nice hesitation back in high side to Azunu. Can't finish, but he'll go to the line for two shots. That's going to be the third foul on a walk. That one bounced out. Bish been fairly unlucky from the foul line. There were some good shots that looked like they were going to go and just bobbled out. And again, that one just that tad little bit long. Yeah, actually a little bit of nerves with 51 seconds to go. Carlos Sanchez by two. A walk inside to Aduku. Spin move from Aduku and great finish from Aduku. He's had a quiet second half. He did first half, but he's come up big when needed. The Bish need to do it quick now, and they do through Gaffney who answers straight away, and there's two seconds difference in the shot clock and the game clock. So Carlos Santos really just need to hold on to this ball, they're up two. If they shoot at the end of the shot clock, there'll be no time. Pressure from the Bish, 12 seconds to go, 10, steal, and we're off. Cochran with a chance to put them up, and he does! Tight game! And somehow or other, Carlos Sanchez, having looked like all he had to do was hold on to the ball, have managed to turn it over. And we have a tied game on a basket from Dean Coughlin. And we'll take a timeout here with 5.8 seconds to go. It'll be Carlos Sanchez ball when we come back. So here we go, 5.6, 5.8 seconds to go. The end of the second period of overtime. Carlos Sanchez ball, tied game, 56 apiece. They get it in, Burke is going to have a chance for this one. No call and it'll be the Bish ball with 2.4 seconds to go. And now they're going to take a timeout, so we'll be back with you after that.
So here we go, 2.4 seconds to go in the second period of overtime. It'll be the Bishop ball, their chance to try and win it. Tony Azono will take it out of bounds. Aduko making himself big right in front of him. Into Gaffney, Gaffney gets a shot up. Oh, and it's in on the buzzer for Gaffney as the Bish mob the floor. Jason Killeen has to leave us to go downstairs and present the trophies. But somehow or other, Brian Gaffney on the buzzer. The ball looked like it had no chance as he just threw it up at the end of the shot. Got fantastic shot from Gaffney as he's mobbed by his teammates. And a devastated group of Cala Sanchez players below us. They were fantastic throughout the game. Had their chances to win it, as did the Bish early on in regulation and in overtime. The unfortunate thing about the game was that someone was always going to have to lose the game. It looked certain to go to a third period of overtime. But right on the buzzer, a turnaround jump shot from Brian Gaffney has meant that the winners of the Subway Schools All-Ireland in a 16A final are St. Joseph's the Bish from Galway. As they're going to win this one against their city rivals, Cala Sanchez College from Owen Moore. They're going to win it on a scoreline of 58 to 56 after two periods of overtime. We'll stay with you here for the presentation. As the captain of Cala Sanchez, Ben Burke, goes up to collect his medal. Unbelievable performance from Burke. A couple of huge threes laid on in the game. Looked like he had put it out of reach of the Bish. He'll be devastated, had a chance to win it from the foul line. But in these games, a lot more to it than that. Kept them in the game for the most part, along with Aduku. We're a little behind schedule here, but coming up next is the under 16 B girls final between Skol Ruan and St. Mary's Ballinar. That will start about 10 minutes time after the end of this presentation. Coach Richard Burke and assistant coach Imelda Holland just getting their medals. Fantastic job they've done with Carlos Sanchez there. But the captain, the star of the hour, Brian Gaffney. Leads his team up after hitting the last second buzzer beater. Angus McDonald's getting his medal. He fouled out, but he was terrific in those three quarters. As was Tony Azuno. Slow start in the game, but really stopped the inside presence of Aduku late in the game. And coaches Owen Clark and Ross Conroy get their medals. And the MVP. I can tell you, finished on 25 points is going to be Brian Gaffney apart from the last second buzzer beater to win it for the Bish 25 points in the game led his team throughout so at the end of this one it's the Bish that have beaten Calisandras College by two after double overtime hope you've enjoyed the game it's been a fantastic game one of the best we've seen in many a year please stay with us in 10 minutes time we'll be starting with the end of 16B girls Skolvo Ruan versus St. Mary's Ballinar. We'll be back with you for that one. <laughs>